Welcome back to the show. Now, Ashwarya went down to the World Green Energy Summit, showcasing leading green practices, solutions to find out how world-class experts in different sectors are integrating clean and renewable energy into practice for sustainable future. Check it out. We are at the ninth edition of the World Green Economy Summit here at Medina Jumeirah to understand and learn more about what a green economy could look like and commit to the use of clean energy. Ingvil, we all know that the World Green Economy Summit is a big supporter of the global efforts towards minimizing the damage that has been done to the environment. How do you hope or how important do you think summits such as these are in order to get to the place where we should be? I think you said it. Uh, uh it is a global summit because we know that these are global challenges that require global solutions, right? So I think that's why it's so important to have these opportunities to come together and meet and greet and get, and get to know stakeholders from different countries, from public and from private sector and from civil society. What do you hope to achieve from your participation here at the World Green Energy Summit? Well, I just wanted to flag up some of the kind of north-south issues, some of the things that I think are important in relation to the green economy, you know, like particularly in relation to food and agriculture, say the issue of deforestation. Now, deforestation and land use change is a major source of greenhouse gas emissions, and that's primarily for agricultural commodities, so the things that we rely on every day, soy, palm oil, coffee, cocoa. Dr. Silos, I was uh, just listening to you speak at the summit and you said something very interesting at the very beginning of your speech that human beings are responsible for the global warming that has happened over the last 200 years or so. Why are we so irresponsible? <laughs> well, uh, science is clear uh, that uh, human activities has caused the, the uh, greenhouse gas emissions in the atmosphere by burning fossil fuels and uh, deforestation for different uh, uh, human activities. So in that sense, we, we do know what, are the, what is the source of the problem, which also indicates about the solutions of the problem. Roberta, we are of course here at the World Energy Summit to discuss plans, policies and initiatives and the importance of a global collaboration. How important is it for us to come together as a community and work towards this? Well, thank you for having me here and for this interview. Uh, I think it's very, very important that we put together not only governments, countries, but also corporations and non-profit organizations together trying just to, to combat climate change uh, and also enhancing um, policies for uh, sustainability and also for the protection of our environment and also social activities. So I think it's very important to have such an effort. So many different events and activations happening at the World Green Economy Summit and I've had the pleasure to speak to so many important professionals who have laid out their plans on how to integrate good, clean, renewable energy into their practice. Incredible insight there into renewable energy, but right now in the studio we have not so human! Yo! <laughs> it's not so human! <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us in the DXB Today studio. Thank you for having me. It's so, a pleasure. So you've got a new single that has just come out. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, I'm so excited to share it with you guys today. Um, this song means so much to me because it taps in onto this younger self on this kind of like younger, more innocent light that we used to hold on when we were younger and we were kids. And it just brings you back to that feeling and brings you ba back to that past that, where you felt warm and innocent and you just loved un unconditionally. Oh, well, I definitely want to feel young and innocent again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all about we this all already. Yes. <laughs> so can you tell us a little bit about your plans for 2024? Oh yeah, there's a lot. I mean, we got, we got music coming up. We got some events coming up, but I can't really say much because okay. I like to keep them as a surprise. But all I'm gonna, all I'm gonna say is that stay tuned. 
Okay, we are definitely staying tuned. Now, I heard that you recently performed ahead of Maroon 5. Can you tell me about that experience? Oh yeah, that experience was absolutely phenomenal. Honestly, like uh, knowing that I'll be performing on the same stage as Maroon 5, one of the biggest pop bands out there, yeah. seriously something I never thought would happen. And uh, at first, uh, y you know, at first I was like a bit, a bit like stressed, a bit, a bit like not sure how I'm gonna feel being there, but, but then I just gave it my best shot and I feel like it, I did a great job. And to me, the most impactful moment was being surrounded by so many VVIPs that event because it was a gala night and especially uh, especially with his highness uh, uh, Sheikh Ahmed bin Saeed uh, the the chief of Emirates Airlines uh, was honestly the chairman of Emirates Airlines was uh, honestly one of my biggest moments honestly that's so that's what I feel like because I felt a sense of belonging and pride when I saw his face uh, shine when he saw me perform there so that was awesome incredible so if you could have somebody perform ahead of one of your huge concerts which I'm sure you'll be having shortly who would you have Ooh, I mean, I, I, I have so many artists that I want to be part of. I mean, yeah. you've got Bruno Mars, Adele, you, you've got Billie Eilish, you've got so many big pop stars that I want to be. But I've always, you know, manifested and, and always wondered, what would, it feel like, what would it feel like to be one day the artist to have someone open up for me? You know? Yeah. So maybe that could be something I'd yeah. be looking up to. But yeah, there's all these artists would love to, but I want to experience that feeling for myself, you know? Definitely, definitely. So I want to know, where can we see you? Our audience, they're going to want to know where they can catch your performances. What have you got coming up for us? Well, you can catch me on Not So Human on all social media platforms. You got TikTok, Twitter, literally everything. And uh, especially on Instagram, this is where I put all my announcements. So go check me out over there. And thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, thank you. Well, I know the guys are super excited for your performance. Guys, are you ready? Yeah. Yes, we're so excited to have him back with us here in the studio. And if you've missed any parts of the show or you want to see any segment again, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash Dubai One. And if you want to follow us on Instagram, all you've got to do is follow Dubai One TV. And don't forget to hashtag DXB today. And that's going to be it for today. But make sure to tune in on Monday, 8 p.m. as we dive deep into COP28 with a week-long focus on all things COP. But for now, you excited, Ahmed? Yes, very excited. You excited, Amy? I am. It's time for the performance from Not So Human. Love sometimes so hard to find. Some people say love ain't easy. What? Some people say love ain't breezy. No. These are old cold stories that they've always told. And every time they mention them, it gets so. But I, I will love it up, I will never give it up, no. And I, I will love it up, I will never give it up, no. It's a feeling so free, it's a feeling you need, so tell me now, love, love, love it up, I will never give it up, no, no, no. I did tell you I'm never going to give it up, right? Some people say love is crazy. crazy. Some people say love ain't amazing. Crazy. It's an old cold story that they've always told. And every time they mention it, it gets so. But I, I will love it up, I will never give it up, no. And I, I will love it up, I will never give it up, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a bit so free. So tell me now, love, love, love it up, you will never give it up, no, no, no. It's a beautiful feeling and it's truly so healing for me and you. So just hold my hand and you'll understand and your dreams will come true. You gotta love, love, love it up, you will never give it up, no, no, no. You gotta love, love, love it up. You will never give it up. No, it's a bit so free. It's a feeling. So tell me now, love, love, love it up. I will never give it up. No, no, no. You gotta 
lot of love, love, love in our view And they'll be giving them no, no, no We got love, love, love in our view And they'll be giving them no, no, no